What's up? My name is Ondo from DawnOfChange.com. Just wanted to give you a quick recording to make a review of um, the latest book which I've been reading called Go For No. Uh, the book is right here. It's written by um, Andrea Waltz and Richard Fenton. I um, had to make a review review of this uh, you know, via video form so that you, you know, get an idea of what my perspective is of the book and what I thought about it. Um, one of the things that I've noticed when I first read this book is just how small it is. You know, it, like, on first impression, you, you, know, you might think, well... What can actually be written in such a short, in such a small book? But the book actually talks about um, it's actually a story, and you know what's inside it. You know the the the, the lessons that, like that's taught by it is actually very very profound. It's like in such a small book, and there's so much to um, so much to it in terms of what we can learn from it. That it's actually very very profound. I mean, I actually read this book in literally two in two hours. Like I literally sat down one one afternoon and just read through it from start to finish, from cover to cover. And it was a very, very good book, and it was so good, in fact, that I actually, you know, had to reach out to the actual author, Andrea, and interview her personally about it, and to, to get her thoughts about the book and what she thought about writing it and the lessons learned. Um, uh, what one thing I like about the book is that you know it relates to me in a lot of ways. Like the the main character is actually 28 years old, um, same age as me. Um, I'm actually going to be 29 in uh, two months as of this recording. Um, but you know, one of the things that I learned from it is that you know the guy actually wakes up in his bed one day, like in a time warp. He wakes up in like ten years in, into the future and ends up meeting his future self. And you know, it got me thinking, like, you know, what, where would I be in ten years' time? Like, what would I say to myself in ten years, like ten years from now, to myself now? What would I, what advice would I, could, I, you know, could I potentially give myself? And it got me thinking. And uh, and so one of the things that this book actually covered was what his future self told him and the advice they gave him. And the advice was actually very, very simple. It was very, very powerful. He actually um, sees a sheet of paper that was that's actually put up on his future self wall. And it talks about the five failure levels, which I'll go on to talk about now. Uh, one of them is called, one of them, or level one, is the ability to fail. And now a lot of people um, don't know how to fail. Like A lot of people think failure is a bad thing. And what, what the first level basically teaches is to understand that failure is something that happens to all of us. It's, it's a learning process. Um, you've got to go through failure so that you have, an, you, know, you have a better idea and a better understanding of what it takes to succeed and how to get to success. Because at the end of the day, when you're learning a new skill or whatever it is that you're doing, you're not going to be perfect in, in the beginning. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're going to, make a lot of, you're going to have a lot of failures, which you can then take away from, with you and uh, apply it in your, in your future future endeavours and you better so you have a better idea of what to do in the future. And this is what the first level talks about and you know it's very very profound. Uh, level two is the willingness to fail. Like this goes on from level one in that it continues on because like you know to, to be willing to be willing to fail you gotta you gotta embrace it. You gotta embrace failure. You gotta understand that failure again is not a bad thing. You gotta accept it as part of the process and uh, and just you know don't don't let it get you down. Third level is the wantingness to fail. Now, wanting to fail is actually very, very powerful. Like, if you get into something and you want to fail, um, it, it it changes the perspective and it puts everything in a whole new perspective. You start to like start to look at it in terms of okay, what can I do to succeed? And instead, think of it in terms of okay, what can I do to fail? <laughs> it's a very, 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 very like interesting uh, idea, but it works. You know, if you whatever it is that you're doing in your life, if you think about you know what you what you can do in that situation to you know to fail and learn from that mistake. Where will it get you? How will you become in the future? And so wanting to fail is actually very very powerful. If you understand that if you you know failure is something that you need to uh, experience in your life to to become better, it's going to put you in a better position to succeed in the future. Level four, failing bigger and faster. Now to become a huge success you've got to be a huge failure now this is what level four talks about it's a very very you know it's a very very weird concept to grasp because in you know, how could the person who fails consistently become a success well think of failure as a you know as an experience experience lesson you know the more you fail the more you're going to experience and the more you're going to benefit from it because no one learns from their success you know people learn generally from their failures and this is what you know the, the fourth level goes it goes on to talk about so if you want to become you know better knowledgeable you know better experienced you know more experienced and more and have more um, wisdom and you know and a better understanding of what you're doing learn to fail more often and level five which is the last one uh, 
fail exponentially. Now, failing exponentially means if you can delegate your failures with other people, so in, in that, you know, or in other words, if you have a team of people that you're working with who are also failing with you, you're going to experience a dramatic effect in not only yourself and your own performance, but also your business or whatever it is that you're doing in your life. And if you can share that failure with others, you know, not only will you learn, but they will learn as well and they'll become better workers for you. You become a better manager, you become an, an a better entrepreneur or a better person overall. This also um, can be talked, you know, this, this could also be related to experiences as well, and well, not experiences, but relationships and personal problems or family problems. If you, as a, as a group, um, experience failure as a couple, as, a, as an entity, you end up becoming a better couple, you, end up, you, know, you have a better relationship with your spouse or your family, you become a better husband, a better wife, or even a better, a better friend. You know, if, as a friendship, you all experience the same failure. You're going to become, you're going to understand each other a lot more. You're going to become better individuals, better people, better. You'll understand what it takes to be a better, you know, have a better relationship with each other. So this is what these concepts grasp in the book, and I really do, you know, it really did like make a massive effect on me. And you know, again, like I, you know, so much so that I ended up, you know, interviewing Andrew because of it, um, which you're going to see. You know, after this review, um, so I give this book. You know, for that reason, I give this book four four stars. Um, I don't. I mean, I very very rarely give books. Um, you know, perfect score because you know there's always room for improvement. There's always ways to become better. And you know, obviously we grow. You know, we grow and evolve every single day in our lives. And you know, what what was uh, uh, perfect for you today could potentially be better tomorrow. So. That's why I'm going to avoid giving it perfect stars, but for what it is, it's a great book and I really do recommend it. And I'll give it five, and I'll give it four, not four stars, and I'll give it my recommendation. Um, so yeah, um, if, you are, if you are interested in buying the book or purchasing it, um, what I've done is I've put a link underneath this video. You should see it in the description box. It is an affiliate link, so I will get paid uh, pay the commission for, for, the pur no, for, no, for purchasing through the link. Um, but it's going to be no extra charge to you, so you'll still be paying the normal price as you would do if you went, in, went on to the... Um, the um, the look you know, the, the area the place and bought it from that same location so so yeah I'll, I'll be very very thankful if you do buy it off my um, off my link um, and also you'll also see a full written review of, on my on my actual blog and I'll also post a description uh, below this video so yeah look forward to it and uh, you know look, I'm looking forward to you looking forward to you to read it. Lastly, um, if you like this video and you want to and you want to see more of these these type of videos and you been and you benefit from it, uh, please subscribe. There should you should see a button underneath this video that says subscribe. Just click on that button and you you'll be a subscriber. So every time I post new videos, you'll be able to see it um, as of when I, as of when I launch it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you very much. Um, and I'll, you know, until then, I'll speak to you very soon. And uh, I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to hearing from you again soon. So yeah, take care, and I'll see you soon.